cha 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 ibo kweni oye cha 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 ibo kweni oye cha 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 ibo kweni oye abia kweni oye anambra kweni oye ebo ikweni oye enugu kweni oye ibo kweni oye Nigeria kwezu ono Hello friends and families and beautiful ones I welcome you again to our Igbo segment Before I continue my name is Mr. Omazi B.O. a full-fledged Igbo son and teacher of Igbo language cultural and tradition, including general issues that concern everyone in society. Okay. Um, I hope we all um, had a beautiful day and uh, got to home safe and sound. If that's the case, I yeah, really have to thank God. All right. Um, the last time we stopped as adjectives, adjectives known as Nkowa ah, nkowa ah, nkowa ah. Ninki o ah hea. Ninki o ah hea. It's a sentence as uh, adjective. Okay. Now, or uh, today, we are going to talk about adverbs, which mean nkua. Nkua. Adverbs means, sorry, yeah, adverbs means, mean, nkua. Adverbs mean, nkua in Igbo language. Okay, now let's take an example. Namde were ezibo ego. Namde were ezibo ego. Namde were ezibo ego. Namde is very rich. The word ezibo is underlined and very is also underlined. So very and ezibo mean the same thing. Both of them are uh, adverbs. Are adverbs, yeah. Both of them are adverbs. Okay. Okay, so in the unkuwa, now you understand that um, something that explains something further giving you further impression or further knowledge about a particular thing that's adverb in english we all know that so in Igbo it's called unkuwa i've just cited um one example you know, it should have been or rather it would have it was still been put like um namde were ego namde is rich but with that word very that goes to explain how rich is namde or how rich namde is so that is the work of that very. That's the work of adverb there. Okay. Now, the second example is um, that man. Now, nile is underlined. I will show you. Okay. Uh, if that what kind of nyere any young one you go ni le owe ni le ni e e le e is underlined. Now the English translation of that is that man gave his girlfriend all the money he had. That all underlined all there is the adverb. Okay, that's the uwa. Okay. Yeah, it explains you know, um, the quantity of what was actually given. Not that something, not just something being given, rather the quantity of what was actually given. So that's just it. Okay, now um, you take a look at this. Now take a look at what I've been explaining here. So you take a look. All right, take a look. I will still do that. I will still do the computer version. I will still have to include all these for you. Your further, to help you further to understand. 
okay so you can see the words i, I underlined okay the underlined words are actually what the words that are underlined explain the other word there that you know, contains them that's just it okay all right so you take a look you can see the underlined words there okay all right, so now we are done with um, this um, adverb. Let's move to uh, prepositions. And what is a preposition in uh, Igbo language? A preposition is called mbuzo. Mbuzo. Me mbi u u. Me u u ze o. Me mbi. U O Z O Mbuzo. Okay. So if you look, you will see the indicator. Let me underline the indicator. Let me indi put the indicators there for you to Mbuzo. Okay. Um I would have been able to differentiate O and O, E and A. U and O, if I had the characters on my phone or on my computer, but unfortunately I do not. That's why sometimes it looks as if uh, you see I, as you see E, E, then the other E that are supposed to, supposed to have a dot at the head and a dot at the base, that is at the bottom, to kind of distinguish it from the other E. Sometimes you see them written without any indicators. So um, maybe I will make further inquiries to know whether I will be able to download um, that app or a particular app that supports it, a particular app that enables one to add, when you're talking about or uh, to add dot at the base. When you're talking about a, eh, to, add, to add dot at the uh, head and at the base, that is the bottom. So, and when you're talking about O, oh, so add dot at the bottom, you know, um, uh, when you're talking about, uh, okay, I think that's all. So, and indicators telling you when a word sounds like A, A, A. <laughs> so, I'll be able to do that. Uh, if not because of work, I would have been able to get, make, uh, made, made, made enough research adequate research to be able to see if these things actually exist you know, it would help you people to be able to get me even better as to understand me even better okay now you have um, prepositions i say prepositions mean mbuzo mbuzo mean b u o z o okay now example of my uh, example one mazi Okafo, no no logo. Mazi Okafo, no no logo. That no logo, you see, I will show you. If you look, you see the, you see an indicator there. If you see u logo, okay. Um, I think I'm getting it right. Yeah, yeah. Where is it written? So that you, I don't go to show you some other thing that is not relevant. Okay, you can see u logo. Logo here is the word Ulogo. Okay, so okay, look at it here. Ulogo. Ulogo. So here that is underlined signifies what um, preposition. Okay, this is preposition here. Okay, now, mazi ukavo, no no log. What it means is Mr. Mazi means Mr. in English. Mr. means mazi in Igbo. Mazi ukavo, no no log. Mr. Okafo is in hospital. Mr. Okafo is in hospital. In is preposition. I underlined it. In is preposition. Okay, so if you look here, you will see it here. In its preposition. Then the other one is the lantern is under the table. 
so under here is underlined under that is preposition that's why it's underlined then um what that means in Igbo is Uriona Aho Nono Uru Okokoro Uriona Aho Nono Uru Okokoro Uriona Aho Nono Uru Okokoro The other one is um, The little child is good at calculation What that means is Mwatakiri Aho Neme Ngoma Nambakona Mwepo here is a preposition. So in English, it's at. Here. At and na, they are the same thing. They mean the same thing. Okay. They are the preposition. This is the preposition in English. This is a preposition in Igbo. Okay. Now, um, the other one is um, conjunction, otherwise known as sinjiko. It's also like uh, if we were, if there's, um, however, you know, it's something like that, and the and, you know, something that joins the other word to the other. It's called injiko. Injiko means uh, to join. That's what injiko means in a, 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 a Igbo word for to join means is uh, injiko. Okay? So, that is a um, uh, conjunction. Okay. All right. For example, you see. Um, uh, um, okay. I'll give you an example. Okay. Now, uh, one example is um, I told you if, you know, Yaboro, Oboro, Yaboro. Now, if you look at this place, Yaboro is underlined. Then, Uzo, Na Ijimaya, Wai. Marabu Uzo Nejimaya Wanya Marabu. What that means is that Uzo and his twin sister know how to dance. Uzo and his twin sister know how to dance. Then the other one is uh, called um, okay, Yabu Namwerego. If Yabu Namwerego. If I were a rich man, so you can see if here, that's the conjunction. Okay, the last one is interjection. It's called Timbu. Just like we have Che, O, Ye, Wayo, Hala, Mobu, Chineke, Me. They are what interjections. Okay, bye.